Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to continue our look at Workgroup Manager and we're going to look specifically at the Preferences section uh, in Workgroup Manager. Uh, as you can see I am uh, authenticated as Directory Admin so that I've unlocked this. You're going to need to do that if you want to make any changes uh, again to anything in Workgroup Manager. You just click the little lock and then log in and it'll uh, authenticate you and unlock it so that allows me to make some changes. Uh, you'll notice last time we kind of gave you a tour of everything. This time I want to dig into the preferences a little bit and show you that these preferences here in Workgroup Manager are uh, the same, uh, pretty similar to what we see in Profile Manager. So here I am in uh, one of our users. I'm in the users uh, side here. You can see I got all usernames. I can go to groups and I've got my uh, couple of profiles here that I had set up before uh, in the groups that I've got. You know, kids profile, work group profile. I can click on that and look at some of the preferences over here. Now you'll notice I've got the ability on the overview here to change things like application, finder, login, doc, network, those kinds of things. And let me just show you. Let me pull up profile manager here for a minute so you can see. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click edit. And what I want to show you is if I can kind of stagger these a little bit so you get a feel for it. Let me move this up just a little bit here and uh, give you give you an idea. You'll notice on this side here when I when I'm down here in the OS 10 area, you'll notice some similarities here. Not exactly perfect, uh, a little bit different, but you'll notice I've got things like here's mobility. We've got mobility right there. Uh, I've got things like dock. I've got the dock here. Uh, parental controls, I've got that up here as well. Printing, you see that here. Uh, so you can see that some of these settings, uh, a lot of these different settings are also present uh, in Workgroup Manager. Uh, some of the uh, the overall stuff as well, you can just kind of see how those things uh, link up. Here's network right here, and I got network there because these are more universal things. And as you see in my uh, tutorial on Profile Manager, I go into depth on how to set these things up in Profile Manager and then sort of push those profiles uh, to your different machines and things like that. Let me cancel this, and I'm going to put this down, and let me pull this back. Now, this, a similar thing is taking place here within the Workgroup Manager. And you can see that I've got these different settings that I can make. Uh, I've got a couple of, uh, of additions. I've got Media Access, and I've got Classic here, which actually uh, OS 10.9, or not OS 10.9, OS 9. Uh, in case you've got any Classic computers, you can actually use Workgroup Manager to manage some settings on those. So uh, it goes pretty far back. Uh, you'll notice down here you can tell what's being uh, managed uh, for certain accounts uh, based on the arrow and changes that you've made in here. Like I said, you can use one or the other of these to manage things. Uh, we're, I would tell you that the best place to do it is probably in Profile Manager, um, but I want to show you that you can do it here. So we'll just go in and take a look for a second at some of the changes we can make. Uh, under Applications, you'll see that I've got uh, three things. I can manage Never, which means I'm not managing this at all. I can manage Once or Manage Always. All right, and so to make any changes down here, I've got to at least put it to always because it allows me to do that here. I can't manage this just once. Now, I can restrict which applications are allowed to launch, and all I'd have to do is come in here. It takes me to my Applications folder. Once that loads, and then I can pick the application that I want to put in here. Any one of these, I can just say I don't want that to be available at launch, and I can add that in there. Okay, and so it'll let, uh, load it in there, and that way it's restricted. Okay, they're not allowed to launch. I can restrict certain folders as well. I can disallow applications within these folders, or I can allow applications within these, within these folders. So if I, for instance, wanted to add the uh, utilities folder, I didn't want uh, you know my kids to touch the utilities folder, I could add that here, and it would uh, lock them out. And uh, once I'd make those changes, I would click Apply Now and everything would be uh, take effect and those uh, different uh, profile settings would, would, would start to happen. Uh, I'm just going to go back to never here because I don't want to restrict that. Uh, we've got an area for widgets where I can actually uh, restrict what widgets would run uh, on the uh, dashboard widgets if I wanted to do that. Uh, not necessarily as big of a deal. I don't know how many people use that that much anymore, but it does show you all the different widgets you've got, and you can uh, say only allow the following widgets to run, and I can just take things off of here that I don't want to run. So that's there. I'm going to take that off. Uh, front row, uh, again, if you've got older computers, they have the front row interface uh, where you kind of go into the Apple TV-like interface. Again, we don't have that uh, currently, uh, but for some of the older um, older Macs that still have that, you can uh, restrict that. And then there's legacy stuff here. And again, these are for, for machines that are 10.4 or older. Uh, it has a, wholly, a whole separate area here for you to manage those things. 
And so, uh, let me just click this for a second. Uh, you can tell them, you can, again, they can only open these applications. You know, uh, you know, you can also open applications on local volumes. It has a bunch of stuff here that you can run a few extra things, uh, again, for 10.4. Uh, itself. All right, and that's the only way you would use these settings. Uh, I don't have any of those machines, so I'm gonna click never, and uh, click done because I don't have anything to uh, to change here. Now you can also go, like I said, you can go into classic. So if you've got things that you want to run for uh, OS 9, doubt you have that, but for some of you, you may. Uh, you have the ability to set settings such as sleep, startup, those kinds of things uh, in the interface. We also have the dock. And again, this is all stuff that we've seen before. It's just getting used to this different interface. Uh, here are uh, applications you can place in the user's dock. You can put folders, uh, documents and folders in the dock as well so that they've got those things. Again, very similar to what we see in Profile Manager. So really, Profile Manager is probably the primary way to do it. Uh, it's the best way to do it. But just in case, I wanted to show you that you have this interface. And then you can do things with dock size and things like that and manage it here. Let me go back. Kind of giving you the quick tour here. you got things with Finder where you can say what things show on the desktop or not, what commands you want to run, uh, what views uh, you want to allow, how big the icons should be and all that. Those are all settings you can usually do right on the desktop settings in the Finder. For this next section, let me go over to uh, users here for a second. Uh, so you've got logins uh, right here. Now logins uh, aren't aren't managed through this interface. Uh, so like if I click this, you'll see I don't uh, can't be managed for users. So these different things aren't managed uh, inside here. So uh, that kind of stuff you would use in the actual server uh, interface and so or in the um, profile manager. So I won't, can't do that in here. So let me go back to preferences. Okay, I've got media access that I can take a look at here and what kind of media they can use or not use. I can again uh, manage that and say whether I allow, require authentication, or want read only. So I can do that in here as well. You can see a lot of these things are very similar. Mobility is something that I'm going to handle uh, in the next screencast or in a future one on how to set up mobile accounts. So I will come back to that one. Uh, network, you can do all your network settings in here and uh, your sharing interfaces and things like that. You can get uh, all those there. So this really is just kind of an overview. Parental controls, uh, system preferences, software update, printing. You can set all those in here. And when something's being managed, a little arrow will show next to it. Now, let me show you with one of my users. I've got mobility accounts set up. You can see there's a little arrow here, and that tells me that that particular service is being managed uh, by me. Okay, And so I'm managing that through this workgroup manager interface. And so whatever you're managing, you'll get that little arrow there to show you that's working. Uh, same thing that you do with users and groups, you can do with machines. If you remember last time we had set up uh, some machines and bound those to the server. And so when you look at different machines, you can do the same kinds of things. What applications the machine has, what you want in the dock. So instead of managing it by users, you're just doing it by machines in this case. I can do uh, energy saver preferences here, right? So for uh, whatever operating system, OS 10 or for server, I can say uh, on always uh, what I want to do for the energy usage in terms of performance, what the sleep setting should be, when I want to put things to sleep. Uh, on the uh, portable side, I can say, hey, when it's got a power source of an adapter or it's on the battery, I can set settings for that. Uh, the battery menu, how if I want to show the status of the uh, battery in the menu. And then just a schedule again for when the computer should start up or shut down. So again, it's things that you see normally uh, when you're using, uh, let me go back here, when you're using Energy Saver in System Preferences, but now you can set those settings in here. And as you can see, all these different settings are the same as what we saw over in the other user side uh, with some additions like Time Machine. And so I can actually set up Time Machine here and talk about how the files were back up, what the backup server will be, and all of that information for this particular machine. And like I guess I can manage them as machines or I can manage them as groups. And if I have a group of machines, then I can manage them that way as well. So as you can see, you can use Workgroup Manager to manage the different preferences for your users, your user groups, your machines, and your machine groups uh, to do similar things that you can do with Profile Manager. As I said before, Profile Manager probably is the, uh, the best way to do it because uh, it's just, uh, you know, you get that simple interface. You can access it anywhere over, over the web, and it's just a, a lot easier. And I can see that Apple's moving more towards having everything in Profile Manager. Uh, pretty soon it, it, it would appear that Workgroup Manager is probably not going to be around uh, maybe in the future. But anyways, I wanted to show you how that works so that you got a feel for it. Well, that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.